Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex and Binary Option. My name is Damien Levy. Hi everyone and welcome in this trade review of this specific week. We are Friday. 4 October 2019 and I will review with you the swing trade of the week since it's Friday and it's NFP today we don't trade today or we just closed all our position before NF NFP so we can make a, a right account of all the trade for this specific week let's start so this is a profile of this week published last Sunday and uh, let's start with USD MXN we start with the swing trading strategy and we have right here a railroad track so the entrance would have been a 50% of the white candle right here which trigger 48% actually that's the strategy stop loss above entry right here and this is a winning trade let's go on USD HUF nothing XH nothing USD DKK there is a trade so what happened? So with the strategy, you have a good spike right here, but since there is a big body going up, you don't take it, and you wait to have this specific pin bar to enter a trade. Retracement entry right here, and this one is a winning trade. Another one. USD Polonia. Let's create a big candle. Now we wait for something like a pin bar at this specific level to buy, but since it's Friday, I don't count anything here. Sec GPY. This might have been a trigger for entry at the level, so this is one losing trade. Just to remind, we have this specific nice pin bar, entry at the middle, so when it closed, stop loss below, and this is a losing trade. Every winning makes free reward, just for the sake of the example. So, what do we have here? We are on USDZAR, and we have this specific doji pin bar. It's a large candle, eventually you could have taken the breakout or the retracement since the week is very large going up. So the first trade of this is a losing trade. Then what happened is you have a big candle body going up, broken down, and this can be eventually a retracement entry when this candle close right here. You might want to enter at the level or just before at the Fibonacci by security and this is still running so no trade no win no loss and we have one loss at the beginning of the week so i count only one loss on this one no win but you could have one with two reward right now as a second trade <coughs> usd singapore so we are on the four hour chart already this is um doji pin bar mar uh, not pin bar sorry hammer and it doesn't a hammer I don't take it I just wait a pin bar it's easier to take and the risk uh, is lower so there is no really trade because the next candle didn't close below and didn't break the low so there is no trade right here and after what we have we have a second hammer and the second hammer break and close below so eventually you could have entered at the middle of this candlestick stop loss right here and this is a winning trade so, so far, 4 win, 1 loss. USD CHF, a very nice trade at the beginning of the week. We have very nice doji, not too big in, uh, in size, and the breakout of the doji is our entry on this one. And it made largely 3 rewards, so it's another winning trade. Now let's look at USD GPY. USD GPY, so what do we have here? During the news we have very big 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 spike right here so eventually I will wait around the middle of this pin bar you can eventually enter stop loss right here and 3 but since there is NFP there is, we will not take any trade tonight but that's the way you would take this one not the middle of the candle because the candle is very very too much big so what you will take is you will divide the big big spike by 2 and that would be your entry or by more to get more confirmation, you can also wait a pin bar at this level around the middle of this pin, uh, at the middle of this week. 
So no trade on USD JPY for the week. USD cat no trade either. Now let's look at NZD. So let's start with knock GPY. Knock GPY. We had a hammer with not so much big size right here and didn't break up. So I would not have taken any trade on this one. And after it's below the level in a no man's land. So I don't recommend you taking any trade right here. So that's it for this. No trade, and the DGPY no trade, and the DCHF either, and the DCAD. Uh, this one adds some nice trades. So right at the beginning of the week, you have a losing trade, retracement entry, stop loss right here. Then, what you have is a big doji doesn't broken up. So what you wait is eventually a railroad track or <coughs> or a pin bar and what you have in the middle right here is a bullish pin bar so the stop loss is below right here 2 to 3 pips below and the entry is at the middle of this one and it made obviously 5 to 6 rewards so it's another winning trade remember always put your stop 2 to 3 pips depending on the volatility sometimes a bit more from the first spike created so this one is safe even now NZD USD sorry this line didn't exist uh, so what do we have we have a first on Monday but trades on Monday doesn't look to have a very nice win rate so this one is a losing trade I count it and after what do we have? We have a very nice engulfing candle right here. So this is our signal for entry. Retracement entry at the middle of this one. Stop loss right here. And this is obviously a winning trade. Now let's look at GBP. So, GBP USD, what do we have? So we have a white line at the beginning of the week right here. You have this doji breaking up and uh, we will fine tune it, let me zoom a bit so power was up, so this doji is around 15 pips and it made uh, 48 pips so 50 pips eventually, so this one is a winning trade actually so we have one more winning trade right here on the right the beginning of the, of the week and what we have just after is this very nice, a bit thicker yellow line that makes an angle thing. And you have the retracement entry right here, stop loss right here. And this one made two reward because the candles are very big. 66 and it made 140. So your stop loss is at break even, so I don't count it. Now let's look at GBP CHF. GBP CHF power up and down what happened beginning of the wing going up uh, pin bar but above way above the level so i don't count this one and what happened is we have a pin bar at the level right here so the middle retracement entry is right here power going up as you can see on my chart and this one made through what so it's a winning trade also and at the top we don't have any pattern so we don't take any trade for reversal now let's look at GBP CAD. Nothing touch. GBP GPY. Nothing touch. GBP New Zealand. One, two, three, four, five. Nothing touch. GBP Singapore. Oh, we have trades here, I think. So what happened? Beginning of the week, one Kedosik strong going up. Then after, what do we have? We have this angle thing candle going up. And retracement entry is right here. Stop loss is right here and when it hit like this trend line and reverse I think I would have put it in, in break even but so far it's not losing, not winning, it's just around the break even point and since I ask everyone to stop their trade before NFP today this should be break even in the worst case scenario so no trade on this specific pair now let's look at Euro GBP Euro GBP this week well, it made a very nice bearish pin bar right here, but the problem is very big spike up. So your entry would have been eventually at the middle of this spike. I don't count it, but the riskier entry could have been this one. Middle of this specific spike, stop loss right here, going down. 
And you would have each three reward, I think. Or maybe two, two and a half. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. It made sixty-nine pips. So it's a, it's a winning trade for this one. I don't count it, huh? but I just show you by, by safety. <coughs> what you could have done eventually also is, since you see there is a 800 EMA on the 4 hour chart, you have a nice pin bar right here. And when this pin bar appears, retracement entry, stop loss right here, and this one is a win also. So two potential trades you could have taken right here. But I don't count them. Uh, GBP sec, uh, nothing. GBP knock, nothing. Now let's look at Euro. Eurozar, Eurozar, what do we have? Eurozar, we have a very nice... Eurozar, we have very nice pin bar at the level, exactly. So the retracement entry is valid, stop loss right here, and this one is already a winning trade. 43, 100, 90, yeah. Obviously, this one is a winning trade. So, let's continue. Euro knock, nothing, Euro Hong Kong, nothing, Euro Singapore, nothing, Euro JPY, nothing, Euro New Zealand, nothing, Euro CHF. I think we have two lines. So, what happened? Here there is a pin bar but no retracement entry. So not possible to enter and this one was a very nice one. Eventually you could have taken one 1.5 reward right here but I don't count this one. And what happened after that is... Uh, a pin bar right here so this one if you would have taken the half of it it's a losing trade then you have a doji so the doji is unbroken not validate and this one not validate so I count one loss to be safe Eurocad 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 what do you what do we have Eurocad we have a nice level touching on Tuesday one two three four five six yeah and uh, so this one, sp strong spike but not too big, so I would not have entered here. After a doji, doji doesn't break up, so I don't enter either. And after at the end, you have this specific nice pin bar. So this pin bar, eventually, you could have taken this, it's a little body pin bar. You could have entered a breakout entry. Actually, that's what I did. And this one took like one day retracing against it, and after it made a very nice 10 reward and more. So it's another winning trade for this one. Euro USD, what do we have here? So Euro USD, it breaks the level, so no trade, no man's land. And after we have a nice railroad track right here, but no retracement entry. So for me, I don't, ta I don't, I haven't taken this trade. Or eventually a breakout, you could have taken a breakout entry, going up, of course and uh, taken 1 or 1.5 reward. This could have been a possibility and it's a winning uh, it's a winning trade. And Euro is done. Let's look at CAD Gold CHF Singapore. So, we are on Silver Euro. No trade, but on Silver USD there is trades. So, let's check what happened. So what happened here? The level was very good. The level was very good. We have a, a hammer right here. A little doji didn't break up. And after we have this angle thing. So since the body is little, you could have taken a breakout right here. And the retracement didn't retrace to 50%. But since you are in a zone where the price is supposed to go up very nicely, uh, a breakout entry is okay for me. And this one made three reward. I don't count it because it's a bit below the level, but just to show you, you could have taken this train. Then, gold. Gold. So what happened with gold? First level is broken, right here, no signal. Second, we have a railroad track inverted, right here. This bullish pin bar, actually. And you could have entered at the middle of this one. And it's a nice winning trade. I count this one because it's very, very far outside the envelope. So it's another element that can tell you that this trade, you need to take it. Now let's look at Singapore JPY. Singapore JPY, at the level we don't have any pattern. So no trade. CHF Singapore didn't touch any level. CHF JPY. This one was interesting. 
So first level this one no trade, then we have this specific monthly trend line. You could have get one loss right here, entry middle of this specific spike, stop loss below. So this is a loss. And after what happened? So we have a doji right here, didn't broken up, so no trade. After one, two, three, and retest this specific level, and after made right now actually that's the moment you would have entered it. So I don't count it, I will just count one loss. But you could have re-entered the trade at the breakout of this specific doji. This is a doji, right here. <coughs> so the breakout of this doji is a validating entry to take a buy. And also, if you look at the envelope right now, it's way, way, way outside the envelope. So, probability are in your favor to take this trade. Now let's look at CAD JPY. So the trend line was already broken and uh, not really... I will count one loss to be fair because there is a nice pin bar right here and you could have taken a call right here, a buy. So I count it. But the trend line touching again again like that, it's not so much good. And then right now we have a nice pin bar, but since it's NFP we don't take it, so I don't count it. Now let's look at CAD CHF. CAD CHF, no trade for the week. Australian dollar pairs. Odd USD. So odd USD, you have a very nice bullish pin bar right here. So your entry is at the middle and your stop loss 2 to 3 pips below, which didn't trigger the stop loss right here. And this is already a very nice winning trade. Now let's look at odd CAD. Odd CAD, uh, no trade on this chart. Odd CHF. Ah, odd CHF, there is a trade. You have this pin bar right here last week. My arrow are up and down, so eventually this one going down is good too. <coughs> but since it's NFP, we don't take it. But what's important is you have this doji pin bar and this doji and the breakout of this doji right here is a good point of entry and this made already four to five rewards so it's another winning trade odd the new zealand didn't touch any level odd the jpy uh, there is a level so what happened there it nearly touched the level and made the railroad track right here so you can eventually when it nearly touched the level take this one and you take your stop loss below the level so in this case you're still in and I believe uh, tac tac middle is right here. So you have like 12 pip stop loss and it made 30, 38. So it's already a winning trade for this one and I counted. So odd uh, Singapore now. Odd Singapore, let's go on the 4 hour chart. <laughs> this one was very very beautiful. Uh, I will count one loss because we have a nice pin bar right here and middle of the spike would have put you out but there is another pin bar right here and the breakout since it's not too much big candle you can take the breakout easily and this one is a winning trade so one loss one win now let's look at euro odd so euro odd what happened this one near the level retrace but there is this very big move going up so i would not have taken this specific leg but when it come back to it uh, I will count one loss huh, to be to be set, to be sure, but there is one railroad track right here, and the middle retracement entry is perfect, and it's already a winning trade. So we have one loss and one win. And the final pair, GBP, Australian dollar. Let's look what happened during this week. So it's ranging the whole week. No trade. This one eventually, you could have lost this one to be sure. A very nice pin bar going uh, going down, and the power is going down. And this one, <coughs> this one is a loss. And after this railroad track didn't retrace, it's a big body candle, so I wouldn't advise to get out uh, with the breakout. But you could have taken it, so I will count only one loss and no win. To be worst case scenario, as usual. So that's it for the swing trades. Result of the swing trades, we have 17 wins times 3 reward, so 51 reward and 9 losses.
So 9 risk loss. So 51 minus 9 equal 42 reward times 2%. It's equal 84% of your account following the swing strategy. Now let's look at the pending order because the pending order were also very very good during this week. So GBP odd didn't touch anything outside the envelope. Euro odd. So Euro odd. Let's check in detail. Nearly touched the level and after it was inside the envelope. So there is no trade right here. This one odd USD touch right here. This level and it's a winning trade. So, so far, one win for the envelope. Odd GPY didn't touch the level. Odd New Zealand either. Odd CHF. It was inside the envelope, so I don't count it. And this was during the news, so you can't count it either. And at that moment, the envelope was not uh, at this level, it was above. So it's not a trade. Odd CAD uh, no trade. Odd USD. Odd USD. It's a trade. And maybe it's a loss actually. Tac tac. So the stop loss would have been uh, 16 pips and it made uh, 17, 17 pips. 1 pips. By 1 pips we would have been taken out. So it's a 1 loss. Now let's look at CAD CHF. Gold. Singapore. Nothing touch. KGPY. KGPY, we have a trade. We have a trade. Actually, that was the white line. Sorry for that. So the white line, it made like uh, 27, so it's a losing trade. And I put the yellow of the round number, but I didn't put it in the beginning of the week. So, this one was at the envelope. So you can count one loss in worst case scenario. And we have the trend line on CHFJPY, the trend line, how many pips against it. Entry right here. And the uh, stop loss would have been, uh, so 22, and it made 23. So it's a losing trade also. CHF Singapore, no trade. Singapore JPY, no trade. All inside the envelope. Gold. Gold, we have a trade. So this one you can count worst case scenario one loss right here and this one is obviously a winning trade so one winning and one loss then we have this one also outside so stop loss would have been uh, tac tac 16 17 17 pips and in may 23 so it's a losing trade it's a losing trade alors silver euro no trade now let's look at euro Euro USD no trade Eurocad Eurocad no trade Euro CHF Now Euro CHF we have actually two trades this one it made nine pips uh, and it made forty one stop loss would have been eighteen let me check yeah here it goes so that's our first trade sixty two pips so it's a winning trade because the stop loss would have been 18 and the second is running actually with two reward yeah two reward so we have one win sure and one running with two reward so i don't count it but this one is likely to win today uh or actually since we close all our trade before nfp it will win two reward likely before nfp Euro New Zealand no trade, Euro GPY no trade, Euro Hong Kong no, Euro NOC non plus, Euro ZAR, Euro ZAR there is a trade and this trade touch exactly the level reverse and it's a big beautiful winning trade. GBP NOC no trade, GBP SEC same, GBP TRY same, Euro GBP there is a trade at the level right here went 11 pips and the stop loss would have been 20 and uh, made 70 when target would have been 60 another winning trade gbp singapore outside the envelope it was it was the trend line right here 
so let's check the trend line it's our entry and it made like 150 pips stop loss would have been 40 42 so it's obviously a winning trade gbp new zealand nothing gbp jpy nothing gbp cad nothing gbp chf uh, we have a trade yesterday evening and so stop loss would have been 36 pips didn't touch and made around 92 93 so it's around 2.5 reward uh, it's going well since we have one that is two reward and we close I will count one win for the both that we close right right today because this one is clearly a very beautiful win and now GBP USD so GBP USD stop loss would have been uh, tac tac 31 33 pips 33 pips it made 26 so it's a uh, it's a good winning trade also because when one to retouch it made 180 pips so obviously GBP USD outside the envelope this one is a beautiful winning trade now let's look at New Zealand New Zealand USD nothing outside the envelope New Zealand CAD uh, this one was at the envelope a bit below so I count it and this one is a beautiful trade like uh, 20 pips stop loss and it made uh, 150 so another exceptional trade this week uh, New Zealand GPY no and knock knock GPY nothing outside the envelope and let's finish with USD so USD cat no trade USD JPY it was time is zoom in it was uh, inside the envelope so no trade USD CHF we have a trade and this one would have made 60 pips and obviously it made 80 so it's another winning trade then USD Singapore this one was a trade yeah the only trade of the week for this made 10 pips against it stop loss would have been uh, 15 14 to 15 pips and it made 80 pips so another winning usd za outside the envelope nothing sec jpy outside the envelope nothing usd polonia touch this line this is a validating trade and it's at break even right now so we close it it will be at break even so no win no loss so usddkk inside the envelope don't count it usdxh didn't touch usdhuf didn't touch and usdmxn didn't touch so for the pending envelope strategy we have 11 wins times 3 reward so 33 reward and we have 6 losses which make it 27 reward times 2 percent 54 percent profit for this specific strategy so the total account is 84 percent profit for the swing trading strategy this week plus 54 percent profit for the pending order I hope you catch a lot of winning trades. Me, I did. It was a very, very beautiful week. See you next week. This is the end of the lesson. Subscribe to my channel to receive a notification whenever I post a video. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. If you have any constructive feedback or if you want me to do a video on a specific topic of trading, Write a comment below, I will appreciate. If you need free signals for binary option and forex, you can join my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the links are below. I provide my analysis on more than 30 pairs every week, plus alert and signals in real time. If you are serious about trading and you want to learn to become profitable, I also propose two complete courses, one on binary option and one on forex more than 10 hours of teaching each some are live with me some are in streaming i post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous successful student finally if you need a quality forex broker i recommend ic market 
It's a true ECN law spread and commission. Regulated in Australia, their link is below. Bye everyone.